क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट टू से फाइंड द थर्टी फर्स्ट टर्म फाइंड द थर्टी फर्स्ट टर्म ऑफ एन एपी उस लेवेंथ टर्म इज थर्टी एट एंड सिक्सटीन टर्म इज सेवेंटी थ्री there are two methods to go about it i'll be telling you by first method and second method both now i'll go with the first method the first method what we do is we use a special formula for d for finding common difference that is ap minus aq upon p minus q d is equal to ap minus aq upon p minus q if you I do not understand how this was derived. Please uh, uh, write it in the comment section. We will make a separate video about it and upload it later. Now we'll just follow this, accept it like an axiom, and use it up here. So d is equal to AP minus AQ by P minus Q. What is AP? Here A11 will be AP. AP will be A11. What is A11? That is 38. So Wherever you find AP, the total value will be replaced with thirty-eight. Similarly, what is AQ? You might have guessed it by now. AQ is a A sixteen, A sixteen, which is equal to seventy-three. Or the other way round, you could also take like some people have a this one a convention that the bigger number will be taken as AP and smaller number will be taken as AQ. Can be done. Even the opposite is true. Now, if AP is A eleven, what is P? Compare P. P is eleven. If AQ is A sixteen, what is in the place of Q? Q is sixteen. So these values we'll put in this formula. So D is equal to AP. AP is thirty eight minus AQ, which is seventy three. Upon P, which is eleven minus Q, which is sixteen. Had you taken the other way, AP as seventy three and AQ as thirty eight, the only changes what you would find in this is seventy three minus thirty eight upon sixteen minus eleven. The answer finally will be same. So next, D is equal to the subtraction between seventy three and thirty eight. So when I subtract three minus eight, thirteen minus eight is five, and six minus three is three, thirty five. Bigger number sign minus upon eleven minus sixteen is five. Difference is five with a minus. See, this is what happens. Had you taken the reverse, you would have got thirty-five upon five, both being positive. Now we got both negative. So what happens is the negative signs cancel. Five ones are five sevens are. Your final answer is going to be same. So difference is seven. So now we have got d value. We can use uh, any one of these as a n and use a n formula. Let me write the a n formula. A n is equal to a plus n minus one into d. So a n I replace with a eleven. A eleven is equal to a, which I don't know. Nothing is given here. So a plus n. In place of n I have eleven. So eleven minus one into d. D is seven. We just found out d. So a eleven value is given thirty eight. I'll replace that thirty eight is equal to a plus eleven minus one is ten. Ten into seven. Simple multiplication. So thirty eight is equal to a plus seventy. Seventy comes to the other side becomes minus seventy. So thirty eight minus seventy is equal to a. How much is that? So seven is a bigger number. Thirty is smaller. One is positive, one is negative. Subtract. So from seventy, if you lose thirty-eight, how much is that? Thirty-two, isn't it? Yes, thirty-two. Bigger number sign is minus. So a is minus. Here we go. So we got a is equal to minus thirty-two. So after this, what to do? Next, you got a, you got d. I'll just note down a. A is equal to minus thirty-two. Using these two things, we will find out the value of what is that? A thirty one. We need to find out A thirty one. Let us go. A n is equal to A plus n minus one into D. N value is thirty one this time. So A thirty one is equal to A. A is minus thirty two plus n value. What is in place of n? What is that? Thirty one. So thirty one minus one into D. D is seven. 
सिंप्लीफिकेशन ए थर्टी वन इज इक्वल टू माइनस थर्टी टू प्लस थर्टी वन माइनस वन इज थर्टी इन टू सेवन नेक्स्ट ए थर्टी वन इज इक्वल टू माइनस थर्टी टू प्लस थर्टी इंटू सेवन इज टू हंड्रेड एंड टेन टू हंड्रेड एंड टेन माइनस थर्टी टू वन इज पॉजिटिव वन इज नेगेटिव यू मस्ट ऑब्वियसली सब्ट्रैक्ट सो लेट एस सब्ट्रैक्ट दैट टू टेन माइनस थर्टी टू जीरो माइनस टू वन कैरी सो टेन माइनस टू इज एट सो इल बी जीरो हियर सो वन मोर कैरी इट इज टेन टेन माइनस थ्री इज सेवन एंड गेव वन रिमेन सो वन हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी एट बिगर नंबर साइन इज प्लस सो यू आर गोइंग गेट ए थर्टी वन इज इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी एट दैट्स मेथड वन वेल वील यू सेकेंड मेथड this is uh, commonly we can use for all the problems if you don't remember that special formula for d always you can use this so first you know an is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d we'll apply this formula for both a11 and a16 separately we'll get two linear equations we'll use that to find out d and a an is a11 which is equal to a plus 11 minus 1 into d which is Next, a eleven value is thirty eight. I'll replace a eleven with thirty eight. Thirty eight is equal to a plus eleven minus one is ten into d. So this is one of the linear equation. Let me call it as equation one. Apply the same formula for a sixteen. So what happens? I'll just mark it separately. Now a sixteen is equal to a plus 16 minus 1. This time n value is replaced with 16. See here n n. So 16 16 16 minus 1 into d. That is a 16 value. Sorry, a 16 value is 73. 73 is equal to a plus 15 d. So this is our second equation. 15 d is our second equation. So we got two equations. these two linear equations we will solve as simultaneous linear equations to find a and d we will get the same answers what we got in the previous method but the idea of starting idea is different but the answer remains same and you know, i'll continue till we get a and b and rest of the process remains same from previous method hmm. now when we add those two equations we are not going to lose any variables there so we will subtract if we subtract however a gets cancel 15 minus 10d is 5d which is equal to 73 minus 38 that is 13 minus 8 is 5 uh, 6 minus 3 is 3 so we get 5d is equal to 35 so d is equal to 35 by 5 which is equal to 51s 57s so answer is 7 same value of b rest of the process remains same how we do in the first method we replace d value in one of the equations and we get a value and the rest is history thank you